you all have me out here. I seen her start pushing earlier and uh, did chores. I seen her pushing real early morning or at least started to act weird. And in the process of doing chores, I saw that. And of course, to my luck, the barn cameras are not working right now. For whatever reason, they lost signal or won't connect. And Shana had to leave for a funeral right at the start of this. So a couple things are going to happen. Um, she's either going to get her poop in a group here soon or I may have to go in or I may have to go to the vet because Brandon doesn't know what he's doing. You would think with all this time on the goats, I would do it. I just clean up the floor. That's about all I'm good for or holding the goats. Otherwise, I'm pretty much worthless in this operation. So let's give her a little time and see what happens. Well, maybe we'll make Shane a wait and I won't tell her what they are. So what do we got? No, we got a boy. So Shana, before she left a little bit ago, she had gone in and checked her. It was a little early yet. Um, the head was back, back a ways yet. She wasn't fully dilated. And uh, 9.30 was going to be our go time, our end all be all, go in. And it's probably just a little after 9 right now. So once she laid down and found a spot, gave me two real good hard pushes there. Okay, guys, well, I had to check my notes, but it's a half, it's a half cc, a B complex, a half cc of dextrose, and a quarter of BOCI. So I had to check my notes from Shana. You guys probably know better because you watch all the time. I'm usually doing something else, so. Unfortunately, I don't always pay the best attention. Now, 
now finally in it. Pushing when it watch out. We'll give him just a little bit of time and then he'll have to eat. Yep, I was going to say, we're going to wait and see. But he's. tired. We've got just a little bit of time though. He's right there. We'll see if he can get it. If not, I'll help him quick. But I think mama needs to, yeah, I think mama's probably got another one in there. She could have two more.
Up over here, and I'll get her treated right okay. need... <coughs> Shit. Okay, you know where the, these are downstairs? I don't care what size you get me, if it's a three or a six. Okay. I just need three of them. Well, I actually bring six of them. <coughs> don't cough in my face. really cold and windy. Did you get that shut? Oh, you didn't get that shut. So she has another one. That goes with that. Oh my god, really? What? She's having another baby? I don't know. Maybe not. That could be it. It looks like a lot of blood's coming out. It looks well, like it could that's be. it. Could be it. Oh my god, she's already standing, Dad. Uh huh. I go pet him and snuggle him. A little bit. Who's that? The wind or a bee. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's actually warmer in here. It's the same temperature as here and in the yeah. okay. house. It's not too bad. Close one. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. She's ready to come in there. Okay, just set them down and get out. Mm, that little beefcake. It is 10.13, so, you know, 9.30 was our breaking point, so we've got two babies out and in the pen um, about an hour after he started coming out. So, um, you know, she pushed him out. Little girl, um, as you saw, she was coming head first, and Coach Macy said, we got to get a leg out, Dad. So... We went in and I was able to grab her, her left leg, left front leg and kind of get that pulled through pretty easy. And then, uh, then she slipped right out. So, you know, shoulders were just catching her up just a little bit, which, you know, these are both the Brett babies. So they'll have, uh, they'll have square power, uh, front end. So they'll be a little bit bigger up front. But, uh, anyway, I don't think there's another one in here. I think it's just two. Um, I didn't check. Um, signs are telling me that, but I'm going to watch. And if she would give signs that there's another one, I don't think so because she's sunken enough already. But I'll keep an eye on her. I'll stay out here for a little bit. Um, as you saw, he was being kind of ornery and trying to get all of his share of the milk early, which was distracting mom. But once she laid down, you know, just a few good pushes, and then babies were popping back there. So um, little girl... Uh, we got her, she's still cleaning her up a little bit, the fine details, but uh, we got her latched on. Uh, she was pretty eager once I got under there and just kind of showed her where the teat was. Uh, even before she was moving around much, she was on it. So um, we'll keep an eye on him. I'll check him here in a little bit, but I know he ate because he was on her so long. And she, she got a few drinks, so I'm going to let him just kind of chill here with mom and keep an eye on him and uh, check in with him later. Well, it's about 11.15. Little girl and little boy both up. I know they ate earlier, so... As long as they keep at that, that'll help. Help keep them warm. It's surprising how 40-some degrees or whatever it is in here feels as cool as it does. One cool little thing. She has kind of a two-tone colored ear. So keep at it, Mama. Just drink some water. You're getting there, little one. Mm 
Wind's deciding to blow pretty good today, so I brought everybody else back in. One of these two was doing some flaming with their lips outside, so maybe some Braxton Hicks or something. Um, they're not. If she had babies today, she had babies yesterday or the day before. Uh, yeah, yesterday. Um, these couple shouldn't be too far behind. <laughs> 